All right, Lyle, <clears throat> I'm holding your middle pup here. I just finished my lunch, so I'm ready to get back at it. And um, this is going to be wound clockwise. Uh, pole pieces are going to be facing north up. The bridge and the neck are counterclockwise, and they're going to be facing, facing south up. This will give us our phase cancellation in positions two and four. So, as you can see, you probably can barely see that. That's as thin as a hair, and I'm going into my... Uh, starting eyelet which is on the left side and I just do a few wraps so that I have uh, some room for soldering and uh, usually the best thing to do is to do this with a, a like a white background so you can actually see the end of this end of the wire this isn't even the thinnest the 43 gauge is thinner this is 42 gauge heavy uh, form var So once I get a few wraps onto this, I'll uh, mount it onto the bobbin. And here we go, I've got a successful loop in there now. So I'll do about eight of those. And as you can see, it'll, uh, it'll start to build up and then I'll have room for, let me see, I'm trying to do this with the camera in a funny angle. Here you can see the wraps there. And when we get to the end, I'll do it on the opposite side. The start eyelet for all the pickups will have the black lead and the final wrap will have the white lead that way I know what I'm uh, <clears throat> when I go to wire it up it's all proper so I'm just gonna pause this and then uh, get it mounted and go from there All right, so we're just under 2,000 wraps, and uh, she's laying out really nicely. I'm finding that uh, if you go too slow, you're not going to get a really nice uh, lay of the um, uh, pickup wire. Uh, if you go too fast, you're going to run into the issue of uh, stretching your uh, coil wire and then uh, increasing resistance, and that throws off uh, your target, and it just uh, causes more trouble, and it could break as well. Uh, but here we um, have it looking pretty good, nice and uh, smooth. And uh, I'm going to keep going, and when we get to the end, we'll see where we're at uh, resistance-wise at around 8,000, and take it from there. Anyways, this is about the speed I like to go, average speed. It fluctuates a little bit, but uh, this is where I find I get the most consistent and nicest wind patterns happening. I'm, I'm sure that machine winding goes uh, a lot quicker in uh, the Seymour Duncan factories. But uh, can you imagine doing this all day, one after another? Crazy. Okay, Lyle, I have your finished pickups here. They're ready for potting. I've soldered in the leads. And uh, we're within a point of the target resistance, which is fine. Uh, she should uh, sound killer. So next stage is I'm going to start melting the wax and we'll dri dip them in. Okay Lyle, finally got one pup in the uh, molten wax. You can see it bubbling there, releasing uh, air in the coil. And I'll set that in here for a good five, 10 to 15 minutes max. And uh, the wax, the bee wax that I got came from a honey beer or a beehive uh, guy. And uh, it was never filtered, so it's a little bit darker than normal, but it gives off a really nice honey aroma. So, my shell tone pickups, I, I'm going to start calling them honey drippers, I think. Anyways, uh, if you, uh, when you get the guitar and you pull the pick guard off and you give it a good sniff, you probably smell it even. I know, kind of crazy. Anyways, it's still bubbling good there, so uh, this is the waxing process from here. We'll... Uh, pull them out when the time is right, let them cool off then I'll check my uh, coil, make sure there were no uh, issues there, nothing's been melted away or broken or busted up and then I can put the uh, covers on it and get ready to load it into the pickguard 
All right, we got the second pup in there. We got a little bit of a bubble stream going on there. You see my uh, 150. You want to stay between 140 and 150. Any higher, you could uh, damage the coil or start to warp the uh, bobbin. And uh, I'm just suspending it through a chopstick, actually, using the uh, leads. And I got a cat that wants some attention, but I'm kind of busy right now. All right, here we have the final pickups, potted and ready for installation. They almost look like they came out of a vintage Strat. Uh, you can see here, a little bit of extra buildup, right uh, in the uh, starting and ending coil leads. Uh, that just helps for extra protection. I do that on all of them. I use either a small artist brush or I'll use a a Q-tip to just dip in and dab in a little extra. So they are all ready and uh, no breaks, no issues with the bobbins. They are perfect. So we're on to the next step of loading the pickguard and soon we'll have some sounds for you. Good night.